is up my dudes and a good morning to you all even though it probably is not morning for you but it is morning for me so it just feels right you know it's like 10 30 just woke up uh, feel a little bit like garbage just a little bit yeah we have some things to do today i've missed vlogging so much i've missed you guys so much and yeah it's gonna be a good day and the first thing i have to do is take my last final but also my only final going to the city i have dinner reservations but first let's just get ready for the day come on come here come here when it runs down your hand. Ah! Random question, guys, but do you have a separate face towel and body towel, or do you just use the same thing for both? Because I have the separate one, but I'm realizing not everyone does that. At this point, I'd usually just use lotion and call it a day. However, this video is sponsored by Hero Cosmetics. <laughs> They're launching these new products from their Four Shield line. This is a Super Fuel Serum Stick, and this is a Supercharged Mist, and I'll show you how I use them. So the main goal of these products is to combat masne from wearing your mask. As you can see, I suffer a little bit from masne. This one is kind of new. I messed with it. These here, above my lip especially too, and my nose. But what I do is I take the Super Fuel Serum Stick, and just apply it onto the area usually affected by mask me. Whatever is going to be under my mask, really, which is like half my face. And the goal of the serum stick that I just used is to strengthen your skin's microbiome. Which basically means just keep everything in check, not too oily, make sure it doesn't get too crazy underneath that mask. And honestly, I can say it has been working, or at least I feel a difference in my skin. It makes my skin feel almost like the way it feels to use chapstick on your lips. Then I put on my lotion and after that I use the supercharged reset mist which I also really like. The goal of this is to fight bad bacteria on your skin, especially after wearing your mask as well, but I just use it throughout the day a couple times. You could also spray it right onto your mask. very refreshing and it smells so good i'd be tempted to taste it sometimes but i don't but i'd be tempted to but yeah i have been enjoying these and i also really just like hero cosmetics they're an acne positive skincare brand which i think we need more of because there's nothing wrong with a little acne here and there am i right ladies <laughs> i use these guys every day in the morning even if i don't plan on wearing a mask all day or right away i've had a good experience using them I feel like my skin is clear, but it definitely feels more hydrated and less just clogged up. And you can use my code Ariel Shield for 15% off of your order at Hero Cosmetics. Recommend these guys, I recommend them. Now that my skincare is done, let me apply a little chapstick and we could get started on the day. I'm gonna be honest guys, I don't get ready. I could not tell you the last time I wore like actual clothes. It's always some variation of sweatpants, some variation of shirt that I wear to bed, hoodie. And it's so sad, but it's my truth. It's my life. Anyways, my test is in two hours, my final exam. It's for anatomy, a class I've been taking for the past five weeks, and it's been kicking my little butt. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous, but like, what will be will be. After that, I'm gonna be going to the city. They have dinner reservations with some family friends. Very exciting. And it'll also give me a reason to put on actual clothes. So that's also exciting. But for now, I'm gonna just review my notes for this test, cause I'm kind of freaking out. But I've also accepted my fate, whatever it will be. But I'm kind of freaking out. My exam is in like 10 minutes about my stomach cause I don't know if it's nerves or what, but 
gonna make some tea. The tea options for today. Peppermint harvest or lemon ginger? Which one should I have? They're both caffeine free. What are we voting? Oh my, the hot water's done. I guess I'll go lemon ginger. I feel like lemon ginger is more like, it says probiotic on there. I don't know what that really means, but lemon ginger it is. About to log on to my test. I have my tea, lemon ginger, have my scrap paper. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me <laughs> ah. All right, guys, just finished my exam. Kind of want to cry. It was like 40 questions for the free response part, right? The timer that tells you how much time you have left in the exam still said three minutes and it just submitted. So all the questions I skipped to come back to were just blank. And I told the proctor of the exam and she was like, no, you started on time, so you're wrong. So I just have to leave them blank. I already don't have six out of 40 questions and I probably did poorly on the other ones, but you know what? If I have to take this class again, I'm literally... Anyways, got some packages. I just went downstairs to get the mail. This, I know what it is. I didn't think it was gonna come today, but I wanted to wear it tonight, so that's perfect. And then this, I don't know. I think it's from like eBay or something. So let's open these boys. I'll open the one I don't know what it is first. It's supposed to be a dupe of the Unif Do Top, I think it's called, or something like that. I got it on eBay. I don't know what the seller name is, but if I could find it, I'll drop it down in the description. Oh, it looks like it might be a little big for me. Okay, and now let's open this. This is just like the receipt from Depop. But a couple days ago, I bought the Paloma Wool Twister sweater, which I've been looking for for so long. But $160 is so much for a sweater. And like everyone selling it is selling it for over retail, but I found someone selling it for under retail. They were selling it for 100, which is still a lot. Like I had to, I had to take a moment, but I've been looking for it for months and I was almost gonna pay 140 and someone else bought the listing. So I'm glad that I held out for it. I'm gonna try it on. The only thing is it's a size small, so it might fit a little small on me. I would have preferred a medium. It's all right, actually. I was not expecting it to have somewhat of an oversized fit. I'd probably wear it tonight with this skirt. And then my low docks. How are we feeling? Also, I'm still kind of triggered because of my test and that the proctor accused me of lying. So I think I'm gonna just take a break and chill until it's time to leave. I'll probably watch the new H3 podcast. I'm so triggered. I'm genuinely so triggered. Mm, okay, I'll talk to you later. Wait, before I go, I have another package slash letter to open. I think it's stickers from one of you guys. Yes, they are stickers. Oh my gosh. Wait, no way. It's me. It's me as a sticker. Are you kidding? I don't think she put her at anywhere in the package, but I'll put it on the screen. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? She literally made one of me. Are you kidding me? Thank you so much. This kind of brightened my day. Actually, it really brightened my day and I'm so happy. And go check out her stickers. I know I didn't film much there because it is so embarrassing to whip out my camera around people and I'm also not trying to film people without their consent. 
so yeah however the restaurant was so good like i honestly really enjoyed it it was nice inside of there the food was so bomb melba's in harlem if you're in uptown new york city i'd say go there i'd say it's worth the trip i got lemon chicken tenders or something and the waffle so good and i'm probably about to eat my leftovers after this but we have a lot of good stuff in store tomorrow. I asked my dad if I could borrow the whip to go to the thrift. And he said, yes, that will be fun tomorrow. Give me something to look forward to. I think I might try a new thrift, I don't know. But that is all for tonight. I will see you later. I would say tomorrow, but it's only tomorrow for me. Probably not tomorrow for you, unless you pause this video and wait until tomorrow to watch the other half. I don't know why you would do it, but if you do decide to do that, I can't judge you for it. I'm not gonna knock you. I understand. Long day, guys. And it is the next day. Good morning. It's actually like afternoon now. And we have to get the show on the road, quite frankly, because I've literally wasted my day. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I woke up at 11, it's like 12.30 now. What we're doing today is thrifting and there's also a graduation party later. So I have to go thrifting and come back in time to get ready, which is kind of tight, not really, but kind of. I wanted to go to a different thrift because Stephanie Andrea, queen, legend, icon, I was watching one of her videos and she went to a thrift store that's somewhat near me. It's actually kind of far. It's like a 30 minute drive, but I figured I'd go. She said they restock on Fridays and today is Friday. So I have to go check it out. I'm kind of scared. I low-key want to go to the same thrift I always go to just because I hate change. I hate change to any degree. I love routine and things being the same. But I'm going to do it because I know that I will be thankful for it in the future. I got ready mostly, like made my bed and washed my face and stuff, and I showered last night. All I have to do is choose what to wear. I wanted to wear this just because it kind of matches my mood right now. I don't know what bottom to wear with this is all. Actually, the anime top with this skirt, this camo mini skirt, so cute. I don't think it's warm enough to wear such a short skirt. Another outfit idea, these beautiful jeans. I don't think I've worn these since I did that 21 outfits video. Just because I have nowhere to wear them to, I don't go anywhere. With this shirt from Axe Femme, I feel like it could be cute. I don't know, I'll try it on. I don't like it for some reason. I thought I would like it, but this kind of just, oh, the UPS guy's here. One second was not my UPS package, but I don't know. I don't like it. I was thinking of maybe this shirt on top. I don't know why I keep trying to wear sweaters. Like yesterday I wore a sweater and I was sweating balls, but I just want to. I got this thrifting by the way, like two years ago. I don't support this designer. I think I'll just wear these shoes with them. I really wanted to wear my Uggs for some reason. It's just an Ugg day. It's an Ugg thing, you wouldn't get it. I'm already overdressed for the weather. I might be hot in this, but sometimes in life you have to make sacrifices. Let's just go, like, I need to shut up. I changed my mind for the last time. I was sweating bullets in the sweater, wearing this shirt, mask, bag, let's go. I'm in the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot. I parked so bad. It's free donut day, so I figured I'd get a drink. I'm gonna get matcha, I think. I've never had matcha, so I will be trying it for the first time with you guys. <laughs> Someone's staring at me. I'm gonna get a matcha, gonna get a donut. It's like a 30 minute drive, so might as well get a snack for the road. Hi, can I have a small matcha latte? Ice. And then a vanilla frosted donut? Bag has been secured, bag has been secured. Here's the latte, it's dripping everywhere and it looks a little grainy. Probably shouldn't have had Dunkin' Donuts as my first matcha latte. I've had matcha flavored things before, like I've had the mochi from Trader Joe's and my dad went to Japan and brought back the matcha flavored Kit Kats. Those were so good, but this is like my first matcha drink. 
I think. I can't recall the last time I had matcha, if I ever had it. Let's try it. It's like weird in a good way. Like I can't place the flavor, but I keep going back for more. Good. Let's get the show on the road because we just gotta. All right, guys, we're here. It was like 50 minutes, a 50 minute drive. And I haven't driven for more than 15 minutes. And I'm so proud of myself. Apparently this is a good thrift. It's way out in the middle of nowhere. I think rich people live around here, so I'm sure the pickings will be good. I'm gonna just take a fit pick in this parking lot and then we'll go in. Bruh, I went to the wrong entrance. Dumb. Pants, you won't believe what I just found. Are you kidding? Oh my god. I'm so hot and sticky, but that was no joke. The best thrift haul of my life. The best thrift trip ever. I'm just so happy. Like, I can't believe I found some of the stuff I found. I'm not gonna do a thrift haul in this video. I was going to, because I only thought I was gonna find a couple of stuff. But I have way too many stuff to add into this video, unless it's gonna be like 45 minutes. So the next video or the video after the next one will be a thrift haul try on of all the stuff I got. No joke, best trip ever. Worth the drive. I'm gonna just head back. It's four now, the party's at six. It's a one hour drive back. Also, I'm not trying to get stuck in traffic of people going home from work. And there's a fly in here, but yeah. Thank you for coming along with me thrifting. Let's go back home. That place looks so cute. It started raining on the way back so hard and I was kind of scared. I didn't know how to put on the windshield wipers, but I called my dad and even though he was mad that I went because he didn't want me to drive so far, he let me know. Got back home like 20 minutes ago. This is my outfit for the graduation party I'm going to. It's all white. I hate color dress codes, especially all white. I don't really like wearing white, honestly, but this is the outfit. It's kind of sucks. I'm also just gonna be around like family, family friends, and like my mom wanted me to wear this. So I just accepted. Who can relate to that? Just not really dressing your style around your family. To save yourself from criticism. <laughs> And I am back home, but the graduation party was really fun. It was nice to see people I haven't seen since like the beginning of COVID or before that actually. And just like be social again and see that like slow return to normalcy, but not really, but kind of, I guess. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. 
I've had a fun two days with you guys, just chilling, hanging out. I think it was fun. Hopefully you thought it was fun as well. I think I will be able to upload a bit more and definitely more consistently. I'll get back on my uploading schedule. Also, let me know what you want to see, what kind of videos you'd want to see, and let me know if you enjoy the vlog. I get kind of mixed response on the vlogs, but I like doing them, so I'll probably continue doing them. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one, but until then, stay safe, and live your best life, baby. It's summertime. Why? Because I said so. Alright, laters. <laughs>